Alright, this is the video response to BK Angel 310, aka Chris Star, aka Fine Latina and Latina Magazine, aka, you know, stuff. Anyway, it's boy Jay Spoon here, just replying back. And I have a rant too. We all got rants, but nobody's sniffing my draws. But my rant is don't have, well, don't be roommates with one of your friends. Be roommate with somebody random. Okay, so my good friend, I've known him since I was like eight years old, maybe seven, some of those ages right there. I don't know him all this time. Now, the roommate part was cool. We had all the fun in the world, and it was never a problem, nothing. He was letting the bill, I paid for it. He couldn't pay, I paid, well, I paid a lot. But anyway, it was, it was still cool, though. We had a ball. We ended up having to worry about it for the most part. We just chilling. The trouble came at the end, at the end of the roommate relationship, which he broke the lease early because he didn't know that, you know, real life consisted of paying bills and stuff, so he wanted to go back home to mom. So he ended up breaking the lease. And I was like, whatever. So, like, during that time frame, when he ended up breaking the lease, I ended up going to the hospital, so I had surgery, my car stopped working, and I lost my job, so I was like, you know, whatever. I got one like a week later, though, because I'm pretty resourceful. But, uh, long story short, we had until the end of the month to get our stuff out of there, which wasn't a problem. I left my stuff there because I went back home to my parents' house and I couldn't take it because my car wasn't working, you know, and he wasn't going to drive all the way to my parents' house. So, at least not more than once. So, you know, so I'm gone. All my stuff there and I called him up and like, yo, I'm probably going to come by there and get it maybe sometime at the end of the week. I didn't go that week, so I just waited. And they say, you know, I finally came by there to get my stuff and it was all gone. I'm like, yo, where's my stuff at? And for fictitious reasons, his name is Jason. I was like, Jason. Um, what my stuff, man? He's like, oh, me and Derek, we moved it. We mo we already took it out of here and, you know, put it on the back of his truck and he's gone. So, all right. So, he's gone. All right, cool, man. I'm thinking to myself, thanks. That's good looking. Now, that's what's up. So, that's the you know, I leave um, from there. But it was weird because I saw my shoes outside on top of the fire extinguisher thing in the hallway. And I'm like, okay. Maybe they made a mistake and forgot it. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. But everything that was in there, I'll tell you right now, my surround sound system my um, like video game systems, some DVD, just a lot of stuff that belonged to me, put it that way, stuff I wouldn't just throw away. Um, and I left it there for a reason, for phone to throw it out, I threw it away. Anyway, long story short, um, I call him back and I'm like, yo, Jason, where's my stuff? I need to, just, you know what I'm saying, get it, bring it back to my peeps crib, whatever. And he's like, oh, that's on the back of, uh, um, what's the dude's name again, Derek, back of Derek's truck. So I was like, okay, alright, so on the back of Derek's truck, let's hit this dude up and let's get it. And then he's like, yeah, I'm going to call him. So he never called me back. Okay. Maybe like four or five days passed by. And then I text him like, yo, where my stuff at, man? Yo, you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got all day, man, you know? And then he texts me back, yeah, man, we threw that away. Apparently he was angry. He was upset at me. He said he should have said something. But he threw my stuff away. I was pissed. When I say pissed, if he would have been standing in front of me, I swear for Willis, I would have punched him in his face and made his face cave to the back of his head. I was so mad. But... So he threw all my stuff away, and then he felt justified saying that I wasn't going to come back and get it and all kind of weird stuff like that. Ooh, I was so angry. Right now, I'm still mad just thinking about it. I haven't talked to dude since then. This was almost like four months ago, four or five months ago. And this is one of my best friends. Not anymore. So I would never do that to him. I wouldn't do that to anybody. I wouldn't even do it to my half-friend. Anyway, this is a story and one of my rants about never, ever, ever, never, ever, 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 never, ever move in with your best friend or a good friend uh, because it may turn out like a tragedy, you know, seriously a tragedy.